Don't mind me. <laughs> Actually sweating. <laughs> Wearing the right outfit to the gym can boost your confidence, but if you want to get to an Instagram level of likes where you're asked to sell bogus hair vitamins on your grid, then you're gonna need to listen to our gym wear do's and don'ts. Don't wear compression leggings on their own. You're not Kylo Ren, mate. You only meat and two veg. People should be seen in the gym. Here's the bland chicken and broccoli that you have every single day for lunch. Ooh. Do wear a compression base layer under your shorts because it actually boosts your endurance and assists your muscle recovery. Don't rewear really your dirty gym kit. No one wants to work out next to someone that smells like a club toilet at 3am. Do look for breathable. Sweat wicking, anti micro. An anti. anti microbi? Anti microbial fabrics that will help keep you cool and stop the spread of bacteria. 100! <sighs> Don't wear anything too revealing, unless you want to get a slip the £20 note from a dirty businessman. Oi! If you do want to emphasise the best elements of your physique, wear a fitted vest that emphasises your shoulders, arms, and chest. You won't believe some of the outrageous footwear I've seen in the gym. If they make the soles of your feet burn, they're probably not doing you any good. So lastly, do wear proper trainers for your workout. If you're into running, find a pair that's lightweight and breathable and also provides flex and cushion support where you need it most. So in summary, don't show your bits. Do wear the right kit and never wear cowboy boots on a treadmill. Here we go. Ah!